Smells like science. Let's see, Will. Um, I guess you can see. Can your the temperature rise up? Yeah. Maybe you uh, lifted yourself up a little bit. Is that working? Okay. 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 It's still smooth and uncracked on the outside. But what I'd like to do is um, melt some of it and then re-pour it. So we're going to put this into here. And it's probably about a thousand degrees on the uh, bottom of my little cauldron here. But it's still, it should start to melt in a moment. There it goes. And it's now molten tin. Some temperature above 450 Fahrenheit. That's crazy. big man. And um, it's kind of one of those. It just sort of disappears. It's not disappearing, it's just melting. And it's probably heating up to around 600 degrees Fahrenheit. I might be able to just set this in there like that and have it just sort of take care of itself. Can you go back to this right Yeah, so what I'll do in a moment is cast it back into that sort of rod-like shape. Here we go. There we go. You can unplug it now. On the surface is some of the impurities. They're less dense, they rise to the top, and we call that slag. When in metallurgy. Now, what I'm going to do is pour a new rod of steel or bar of steel, um, and I'm going to pour it into here. Why don't you step back a little bit, because this is very hot. It smells weird. And I'm going to uh, tip it like into here. Are you ready? One, two, three. And it it cools fairly quickly. One reason it does is the aluminum um, uh, uh, tray here, anodized aluminum, it doesn't melt to about 5,000 degrees, but it's a great conductor of heat. Um, so it very quickly gets warm, pulling the heat from the molten tin. And I can probably, I can't touch it yet, but I think I can probably pick it up with my rag. I'm gonna push but it down. This? So, so this is, uh, the a new uh, shiny uh, rod or bar of tin.